All right, it took about five minutes for me uh, for our database test underscore sync to appear on our secondary uh, cluster right here. And it looks healthy. As you can see, North America underscore sales and test underscore uh, sync both are online and they are both in sync. And I have added a few more databases since then. Uh, our next step is to test the failover. But before we test our failover, let's check a few things. Uh, let's check first uh, the status of um, our uh, distributed AG on our primary replica of primary cluster. As you can see right now, the status is synchronizing. I have run this command to check the status. Let me show you. Right here is the command. It is part of Microsoft document. You can check the status. Let me run it right now. Let me make it bigger. As you can see right now, the status of distributed AG is synchronizing. And let's take a look on which one is primary and which one is secondary at the moment. If we open distributed AG and look at availability replica, you can see that uh, auto seed AG cluster one, which belongs to TBS Charlotte prod and auto seed AG two, that is secondary and uh, auto seed AG uh, cluster one is primary. So let's go and uh, take a look what step we need to take uh, in order for our failover to work properly. So our first step is set primary replica of secondary cluster from asynchronous to synchronous commit. What it means is that this is the primary replica of uh, our secondary cluster. In my case, it's SQL prod one, but we need to run this command on our current primary replica of primary cluster. And there are a couple changes that we have to do before uh, we run this command. One is um, the seeding mode, if you notice, is manual. Uh, when we created our, our distributed AG, um, it was automatic. But now we have to change that to manual. And other is that right now, the status of our um, SQL prod one, which is a primary replica of a secondary cluster, uh, this is asynchronous, but we have to make it synchronous. So I'll make that change right now and run this command. All right, command completed successfully. Let's right click and go to the properties of our secondary cluster. As you can see that uh, the availability mode now is synchronous commit. Let's cancel this. And next we need to check the status. And uh, the status, it says that we, we saw the status it was uh, synchronizing but it needs to change to synchronize before we can proceed to the next step. So let's check the status using this command. This is part of Microsoft uh, document. And let's take a look on the status. As you can see, the distributed AG status right here is all synchronized. So we're ready to run our next command. Our next target is that we will make this, pr which is primary right now, auto seed AG cluster one, we need to make this secondary and make this primary. That's our failover right here. The, right now is primary and this one is secondary. Let's run this command. Command completed successfully. And I have a note for you here. I've spent hours and hours to figure out this. As soon as you run this command, the communication between um, auto seed cluster one primary and secondary it gets lost and it never recovers from that but i have a fix for it uh, i'm not sure it is because of my environment or it is because uh, microsoft is missing a step or two in in its documents so you'll see that uh, replica has lost communication let's uh, refresh this as you can see the auto seed ag cluster one your um, distributed AG is not available. It has lost communication. There is a red arrow right here. And if even you leave this all night, this is not going to come online. So I've done that. I've spent hours and hours to find out what the issue is. And let's take a look on our um, secondary cluster side. I'm gonna open the distributed AG and open the replica and right click and refresh. As you can see that it says auto seed AG cluster two, which is secondary, but it's offline. So this 
this error, this is how we will basically resolve this error. If we go on our SQL prod one, which is a primary replica of our secondary or also our future uh, primary, I'm gonna go and connect with that. As you can see, my connection that I'm running on SQL prod one master. So we need to run this command. Somehow the communication gets lost and this guy doesn't know that this is going to be a primary. So if we run this command and tell uh, our SQL prod one that, okay, you're going to be primary soon, then it'll create the communication. The communication gets established. Not sure how, it doesn't make any sense to me, but this is how I fixed it. So execute that. And now we will right click on replicas and refresh and see that if that red arrow is gone. As you can see, that red arrow is gone and auto seed AG cluster one is secondary in here. Let's refresh this one too. And as you can see right now, auto seed AG cluster two is primary and auto seed AG cluster one is secondary. And that red arrow, uh, the offline mode is gone. They have established the communication. Now let's take a look on the status. We're only concerned about the distributed AG. As you can see, it's all synchronized. Right here. Refresh one more time to see that if everything looks okay. Let's take a look on the databases. And open these databases, see if, as you can see that I can open it and refresh these databases. All right, everything looks fine to me.